Servus. Try this again. What's up, guys? This is Ian Walker. Um, I, I recorded earlier again. Mike wasn't working, so here we are. Um, so making our way to the Lockhart uh, Farmers Market this morning. Um, I'll be setting up my shop there today for for about four hours today. The shop starts around. Uh, the market starts at nine. It's going to go on until two o'clock today. So um, I'll be there with my lovely bride, my wife there, like driving there, and uh, I feel like Miss Daisy. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that. Today's supposed to be fair weather today. The last week wasn't too too bad. Um, there was a little bit of wind, but you know, today's supposed to be really good weather. So um, I'm hoping that we got some canopy so hopefully we won't fly off to Oz this week but um, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be decent today so hopefully that'll bring out more people and uh, we get some decent steps today so I'll put all that information in the vlog as well I'll let you guys know how we did I got some new prints made I printed um, I got a new sticker sheet they're like Pokemon sticker sheet so we got that going today as well so um, if you guys are watching this beforehand hope you guys head out if not or next time I'm out there just come see me. Um, if not then uh yeah, just next time but either way I'll let you guys know how everything goes uh, after uh, after the market all right thanks so much see y'all soon you off to die you get down it's a lot you get out here I swear like I said Texas is dope they just people do whatever that like, could they want place is dope though on the road again. Don't say we get on the road again. That's a lie. I hate being on the road all the time. No, not at all. <laughs> There's no way to get this much open space. In fact, I'm almost out here in Texas, like too much open space. But I know halfway. I do like that too. I do like that halfway. I do like that, but it's a whole lot. Like, that's a lot of open space. That's a lot of open space. I do like that too. I do like that, but it's a whole lot. Like in California, like it'll all be filled with houses, apartment, overpriced apartments, parking lots, shopping malls, whatever. Crazy out. Yeah. yeah. But out here it's super calming though, you know, here just the land, just open land and stuff. But yeah. All right, good people. So uh, finally all set up and ready to go for the uh, farmers market today. So uh, it, man, it took about an hour for us to set up. I don't know if you can see that, but I am drenched in sweat, working hard. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so we're going to be out here. It's just in the nick of time. It just hit 9 o'clock right about now. Um, we'll see if some people start rolling through here, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, we should be, should be rolling good. How are you? Good, good. The weather is nice. Uh, people are starting to slowly roll through. So, hopefully, we'll get some uh, good footage of the market today and uh, get some good foot traffic, hopefully. And uh, let's make some paper today. Really, really got to start making something today. So uh, I'll show you guys the setup in just a moment, and then uh, we'll we'll get going. All right. All right. So we're gonna take a look at today's setup here. Uh, it's good. We got the banner here in the back. Coming here at a cut of corner angle, it looks pretty stacked up, which is cool. I've got my stickers here, the super sheets, all the prices for everything here displayed. And then some of the stickers are on the side. Gonna have some Pokemon stickers soon. Stick those there. Got a copy of Pantheon that people can hopefully pre order if they like what they see there. Again, can't stress it enough to comic creators. If you guys have a comic book project, make sure you have a copy with you. Um, it really helps with pre orders. Um, touching it, seeing it really encourages those uh, things there. We've got some uh, prints, my original Pokemon art here. We've got some of the prints here, my two brand new prints. So, we got the Pokemon sticker sheet here in the front. It could fit in the computer here. So, I need to make, when I make new sets of Pokemon stickers, I need to make sure that I slim it down. Smaller. 
Um, I'm talking with the gestures and so I'm moving everything around. And then the rest of the setup here. So they look a little sparse at the bottom. Again, displays for stickers unless you're inside. Don't let the elements take your stickers, they'll make them curl. Make sure you laminate them for your displays. But anyway, um, looks pretty good. And uh, we'll see how we do today. All right, guys. See you in a while. Yo, what's up guys, Ian Walker here again. We're still here at the uh, farmer's market here. It's about, I wanna say, like 11 o'clock, or about to hit about 12, 11, 30, 12 o'clock here. Uh, pretty slow day today, but uh, got some decent sales. So uh, hopefully by the time we get done, we'll hit some goals. All right, all right, peace. All right, you guys, so we're back. We just got done with the uh, Lockhart Farmers Market today. Um, to be honest, today was a slow day. Um, I made what I wanted to make, but um, I, I was anticipating foot traffic to be a little bit better today, and it really wasn't. There was a grand opening for like a, so this barbecue joint uh, locally in town. We were hoping some of that traffic would come over, but it was mostly people trying to fight off the itis. Uh, <laughs> so they're mostly just kind of perusing around. Um, there was no not a whole bunch of buyers. Um, I do give a sh want to give a shout out to those who did come by my table today, who stopped and made a big purchase today. It was really cool. I really appreciate you guys. Um, we also, one of them also came through and pre-ordered Pantheon number one. So come June 7th, that book should be to you. Um, and uh, another shout out too, to a gentleman who I met at Lockhart Arts and Crafts. Uh, a few weeks back, he came back to see me at the table today to uh, give me some information and stuff like that. So shout out to you for coming through, David. Appreciate you, man. Hopefully you see this video and be like, yeah, it's in my name. Anyway, uh, but I mean, I made what I wanted to make today. Yes. Were the sales what I wanted them to be? No. Um, so one of the things I'm probably gonna be doing is looking for some other options as well. There's a local flea market that I want to check out. We're gonna be going there tomorrow to check that flea market out and see what that's all about. Uh, because if that works out, then if the foot traffic is good and all of that, then that might be a viable option for us as well. What I'm really trying to do is make it so that, you know, the places that we go to share my art and to sell my art is gonna be places where there's gonna be one, a lot of foot traffic, uh, no matter what time it is, you know, it's a rain or shine type of thing. Number two, uh, that's well advertised. And then uh, number three, a consistent amount of money that I can predict be made uh, on a weekly basis or at least every other week when I go there. So uh, it's growing the business. It's important to not just settle with where you're at. Always exercise your options and uh, always make different decisions based on the things that you see. So um, we're going to explore some other places, other events, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to come up with something. So right now we're headed home and uh, I will continue the vlog and update later. Notice what? Hey guys, so Ian Walker here. Just uh, it's about, let's see, today is two, Monday. So it is two days after the Lockhart um, Farmer's Market. And uh, so I am going ahead and making the final part of this video here right now. Um, so just kind of a, a quick rundown. I made the $100 goal um, every time I go out to the farmer's market because it's such a small town and it's a little, um, unfortunately there's not a lot of advertisement as of yet. Um, they only do social media, things like that. There's no flyers or anything that's put out or um, any press releases really. 
that I've seen. Um, so the turnout is usually pretty small, pretty sparse. Um, so I only always um, expect to have about maybe a hundred dollars. If I do a hundred dollars or more uh, during the farmers markets locally, I tend to make you know be that's an okay day. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it was it was very slow that day. Unfortunately, I was thinking that because of the weather, it was sunny that day. It was a nice, it was a very nice day. And because we thought maybe the weather was happening and that there was a grand opening of a, a brand new barbecue joint, like right across the way, we were hoping that some of that traffic from the barbecue joint would bring some people over, but unfortunately they didn't quite do that. We had a lot of people that did stop through, they were from out of town. So I mean, it was nice to get to know them. As I mentioned before, there were some people that came by who I talked to before, um, who I knew before stopped by the booth. I had one specific customer that came by, was a huge Mighty Mouse fan, he bought the uh, Mighty Mouse pencil. Shout out to you, sir, uh, for buying that. He's, he, he saw it and he was like, he had to have it, so that was kind of neat. That was the first Mighty Mouse print that I sold, so glad I did that. Uh, I love people who appreciate the classics. Anyway, so, so yeah, so all in all, I made what I wanted to make, but I did expect more. So there was, there is an element of disappointment there. But I am grateful that I made the amount that I did. Uh, I will, I do want to say yesterday I went over to a flea market in, I want to say it's called Bussy or Busey, Texas. And, uh, and the reason why we went there is two reasons. One, I've never been there before. Two, I wanted to see if it was a possible, possible new viable option as a place that I can go to sell my artwork. And as far as it looks, man, that might be it, dude. <laughs> uh, so we're, we're heavily considering going to, in the next two weeks, uh, showcasing and selling my art there at the flea market. We're gonna see how that goes. We're hoping that the foot traffic on those days will provide us uh, enough of the traffic that we're looking for in order to make a substantial amount of money. It starts really early in the morning, seven to five. And so that's gonna be a 10 hour day. So it's gonna be very long hours, but you know what? Let's go, okay? I mean, if I, when I go to a con, it's gonna be about the same thing. It's gonna be about, you know, 10 hours long anyway. So, you know, I'm here for it. But what's nice about the flea market, it is a constant thing. It's a constant event that I can go to. So when I'm not at the cons, I can go to this flea market and maybe hit up my farmer's market once a month. Uh, but from that point, if if it's if we find that it's successful, we're always trying to look for new ways to earn money, uh, new places that will um, guarantee some earning of some money. So uh, I definitely want to, you know, have that option there. And there's tons of people from all over that come to the flea markets as well. So I'm promoting Pantheon, my webcomic, at all my at all my flea markets, at all the shows, the farmers market, and everything, and the comic cons. But since people come from all over to go to comic conventions, I feel that maybe doing the, having the book there at the flea market will then allow me to get Pantheon further out into Texas in a different way. So um, I'm hoping that'll work out. So we'll see what happens within the next few weeks with that. Um, but anyways, uh, that's it. I'm gonna shut down the, the vlog for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the information there. Again, if you like to support what I do, patreon.com slash the art of uh, ID Walker Art. I'm also on here on this on Instagram at ID Walker Art and on Facebook at the art of Andy Walker. So uh, if you like what you see, I appreciate your support. Either way, I will catch you guys next time. All right, have a good one.